Now, popular radio host, something that's also been kind of being spoken of here on the show quite some uh, for quite a bit here, is popular radio host Charlemagne the God weighed in on President Joe Biden's cordial meeting with President-elect Donald Trump at the White House on Wednesday, and he admitted to having a hard time wrapping his head around how that all went down. And I'm curious on if he's going to say what we said yesterday, where how are you going to call this guy a threat to democracy and that uh, a racist and all these things and then shake his hand in the Oval Office? Like, I just, it's odd to me. If you really think that, like, if I really thought somebody was a threat to me or a threat to my family or was calling me a racist or all these things, I wouldn't bring them over to my house and shake their hand. I wouldn't be cordial with you at all. Screw you, man. Understand the White House visit. Now, granted, you know, I'm glad it's a peaceful transition of power. But what happened to the threat of democracy talk? What happened to the fascist talk? By the way, I know I've said those things about Trump as well, but I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about his political opponents like President Biden. When they say it, it holds way more weight than me. I'm just trying to figure out how do you go from he's an essential, essential threat to democracy. So welcome back. He was happy too. He was happy. He was smiling. He was yeah. grinning. He was cheesing. Say cheese. He was sure say he was cheesing, bro. I'm just trying to figure out how. I I, I understand President Biden believes in political political. No, I I, I get how. Because it was all it was all BS. That's how. He doesn't really believe that. Matter of fact, most people don't really believe that, even on the Democrat side of the aisle. It's just something they say because they like spreading. Let's use the term that they like to use: misinformation, disinformation. That's why they say it. Right, because these people don't actually sit there and rationalize what's going on and go, maybe he's not a racist guy. There's all these pictures of him with like black people, giving them a bunch of donations, hiring them, giving them work, giving them jobs, electing them to high positions. That's really weird. Because that's what they do. They lie. And they've been lying. The entire party's been lying for quite some time. I mean, that party actually implements revisionist history. They actually say it's the Republican Party, it's a party of racism. It's a Republican Party, right? Those, those types of things they teach in high school now. That's why they only say the North and the South. They're actually not specific in high school anymore. They don't talk about the Democratic South and the Democratic North and the Republican North. That it was a Republican North fighting against the Democrat South and then the Democrat North in some areas. They don't, they don't talk about that, right? Because those people that teach it were Democrats. And when you start sitting there bringing in parties and showing that there's one specific party that has implemented slavery, the the... the the party, I should say implement slavery, the party that wanted to keep the implementation of slavery, I guess to be more specific, the party that wanted to sit there and do all these horrendous things to black people and people of color. Uh, well, those people that are teachers doing those things, well, they have to acknowledge that their party is also pretty scummy and had been in the past and still is, except now it's more of a metaphorical plantation than an actual literal one. I mean, in some cases, right, the Democrat Party uh, is allowing still slavery to take place across the globe, which is pretty bonkers. I mean, you guys, they're missing 320,000 children that are sold off in the forced labor. Your party single-handedly has kept in now still slavery across the globe. You are you're, you're you have a whole sex trade taking place on top of trafficking human beings. Still, still. I don't know how this is. I, I just don't I can't wrap my head around how he's just allowing him into the White House. I've called him a fascist myself, but we're not talking about me. Because he doesn't believe it. Uncle Norms, but damn. That man is happy as hell <laughs> right, to I'll, leave. He don't care. He want to go. Yeah. <laughs> he up out of here. I was going to say it's definitely giving, um, you know, in, in, inside a house uh, thing. I don't know. Like, you you know, it's the family is fighting inside. But then the moment that somebody from the outside come in, it's like, hold on, wait. So it's giving United Front on a global stage is all I'm seeing. And that's just my opinion, y'all. I ain't going to get too much into yeah, that. I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to st stop minding white people's business. That's what mm -hmm. I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so the White House says. What? Why is it about race? I, I really, I mean, it's, it's the oddest, it's odd thing to me that people capitalize on other people's racial issues all the time. I don't think, I, when I look at Charlemagne, obviously I see a darker skin, right? Obviously I have eyes, but I'm not going like, oh, look at this black guy. You know, so he's another guy. He's just giving his opinion. Another dude out there giving his opinion. And I disagree with it. And I think it's silly opinions. But I'm not sitting there, oh, this guy, clearly, you know, he must have been in a rough area. Maybe he grew up in a really wealthy area. No idea. And truthfully, I don't really care if he grew up in a bad area or a wealthy area. I care about who he is as an individual. That's what I care about. And for some ungodly reason, we talk about it here all the time on the show. I don't know why people bring in race all the time other than to create division, create a more tribalistic idea out there where you got black people, white people, Hispanic people, Asian people. And then you need to sit there and divide everybody up. 
We don't do that. Everybody's American. Everybody's individuals. They are who they are and we can move forward, but they don't want to do that. Everything has to be about race and it's freaking exhausting. It really is.